Hey everyone, this is Zaim Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews and today I'll be having a look at the Perex AX3000 7.1 surround gaming headsets. This is pretty much the older brother to the AX1200 headset which I reviewed last time, except it's got one or two big differences. First of all, it uses a gold plated USB connector whereas the older one uses a traditional 3.5mm connector. Secondly, the inline audio controls actually have some buttons this time. You get volume up, volume down and a microphone button. Thirdly, this is 7.1 surround sound, meaning that the sound quality on this is phenomenal. I mean, it's really good. At the front here, you get a nice flap which allows you to have a look at the headset itself. And you can see that it's pretty much exactly the same as the AX1200. I mean, it's identical. I love the design though, I mean the red accents look really cool, so I'm not really that you know, annoyed about the design, I think it's a good design and I'm glad that they stick with it. And even though it's got 7.1 surround sound, USB connector, everything, it is actually the same size as the AX1200. So I know people are a bit confused, should they buy this, should they buy the X1200 and we'll have a look at that in my review. I'm going to take this out of the box, I'll be back in a second. So inside the box you get two things, you get the headphones themselves obviously and you also get this which is a small CD which you can use to install the drivers required for this headphone. Um, it works with Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and probably Windows Vista as well. I'm not sure if it works with um, Mac so you might want to double check before you buy that. Uh, the good thing is you don't really need the CD, I plugged my headphones into my laptop and it detected it and automatically installed the drivers without the need of a CD and that's actually really useful because my laptop doesn't even have a CD drive so that's nice you don't need the CD you just use the drivers themselves so the headphones as you can see have the exact same design as the AX1200 they've got the same black and red you get these nice red accents it's got plastic construction Headband has a bit more padding which makes it very comfortable and so do the ear cups which means the sound isolation is very very good. Once you put these on you can't hear a thing, it's just radio silence, just complete nothing. You've got the same collapsible design like so and you've got the same expanding headset like that, headband like that. The only thing is with the same design you get the same problem, this one also creaks a lot. So if you reposition this a lot, it does get very annoying. On the plus side, since they are very comfortable and they do have more padding, you won't need to reposition them that much. So you can see that it's got the same durable braided cable here as the AX1200, except it's got a slightly different inline audio control. And this is just too big. I mean, it's massive. It's well built. I mean, it's plastic, but the construction is really good and it feels sturdy. But it's too big and it's got volume up controls, volume down and a microphone button which turns the microphone on and off. Buttons are really well built, it's very clicky, very responsive, they've got good travel but the only thing is this is too big. Let me show you on the AX1200 here that's your audio control, it's got the microphone and the play pause button here, let me just focus in on that, there we go and you can see that the distance from here to here is very short, which is what you expect. So this ends up somewhere near your shoulder, near your neck, and that's what you want in a headphone. With the AX3000, this is too long. It ends up somewhere near your stomach, and that's not what you want in uh, inline audio controls, because you want them near your neck, easy access. Even with other like in-ear headphones, so I've got my Samsung ones here, you can see that First of all, the controller is really small and it's got the same volume up, volume down and play pause buttons. And the distance between the earphones and the controls themselves is very short, it ends up near your neck, which is what you want. With the X3000, it is too long and it is a bit too big. That being said, it's very nice, very responsive, good controls. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the gold plated USB connector. Uh, technically gold should be better because it's faster, it's a better conductor, it doesn't oxidize, 
but you really can't tell the difference. If the headphones are good, they're going to be good. It doesn't matter if this is gold or if it's silver. It's just not that big a difference. The thing with this one though is that it is permanently attached, meaning you can't replace it with a 3.5 millimeter connector, and that limits to what it can actually connect to. This is just for computers and um, if you've got a gaming console, which has an adapter like an Xbox 360 or PS3, if that has a USB adapter for gaming headsets, then you can use it. But apart from that, you can't really use it because it doesn't support phones, you can't use it with your tablet. If you've got an iPod or an MP3 player, this won't work. You need to get the AX1200, which has a 3.5mm connector, which makes it able to connect to a lot more stuff. So, if you're going to buy these headphones, make sure you understand what you can connect it to. Now I'm going to connect it to my laptop and I need you to pay attention to the microphone and the edge here. So I'm going to plug it in, one, two, three, and did you see that? It glows and that looks really cool. Uh, it really contrasts really well with the black hair and it just, it looks fantastic. That lighting up alone is worth four stars all by itself. I mean, look at that. Off and then on again. And you can also see that the microphone, that lights up as well. And that's where the microphone controller comes into play. So if you press that, the light turns off, microphone is off, press that, turns it on, microphone is on. And this is useful for when you're playing a game. Because when you're playing a game, you're not really going to be focusing on whether your microphone is on or whether it's off. So having a nice light, which is really bright actually, having a visual reminder is very useful. So, you know, when you're going to swear at the character in your game, you can just turn it off and no one can hear you. And when you need to insult everyone else on your team, you can just turn it on and yell at them. So that's really, really cool. And just, honestly, the light looks fantastic. I just turn it off and on all the time, just for fun. And it's responsive, as you can see. Very clicky, very responsive, and it's instant on and off, which is cool. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about for these headphones is the sound quality. And what this is, is it's got 7.1 surround sound, which means that there are pretty much seven speakers shoved inside your head. And that sounds weird, but let me explain. Here we have a diagram. That's a massive couch for you, and that's your TV up top. And you have seven speakers. So you'll have two at the front here, two on the right and left, and then two at the back, and one subwoofer. And when you're playing a game or when you're watching a really scary horror movie and you know how you get footsteps at the back, with these headphones you'll be able to emulate these exact, uh, this exact speaker configuration. So if you have like a horror movie and someone's slowly creeping up behind you, you'll be able to hear it perfectly with the headphones and it'll freak you out because it's really, really good. Um, so my advice, don't watch horror movies at night with the lights off wearing headphones because you will start screaming sound quality is fantastic and I tested these with um, the official Dolby surround sound I went to the website and checked it out and it works really well they do individual speakers and then they do them all at the same time and you can get this really nice surround sound like you're in the cinema so if you're gonna watch blu-ray HD movies these are fantastic headphones and they make perfect companion for horror games so all in all, I'm going to give these headphones 4 out of 5 stars. First of all, the creakiness, I'm going to take off half a star for that. And then this is a bit too big and it's a bit too far from the headphones themselves. And lastly, this is USB and that sort of limits what you can use it with. Apart from that, um, I really do love the sound quality. It's really great for games and scary movies. And I'm just going to plug it in one last time to show you how awesome that lighting logo is that alone is worth four stars I mean that's just fantastic and of course the buttons here are very responsive very clicky so if you're gonna get a gaming headset specifically for gaming with your computer or uh, gaming console these are fantastic definitely get these if you're a casual gamer and you, you just want really good headphones which you can use with your phone your mp3 player or even you know your tablet I would recommend getting the AX1200 Yes, you'll lose the surround sound ability, but the AX1200 really does have pretty good sound quality as well, so you're not missing out too much. This has been Zayn Siddiqui from Zeus Reviews. Thank you for watching.